Does COVID-19 live in our rivers? Over the last few weeks, I've been asked whether it is still safe to continue cleaning up our waterways in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. As you can see right behind me, we decided this week to bring the rivers directly here in our home. As we have seen, COVID-19 is a fast moving situation. The science is rapidly evolving. In fact, what we know now at this current time could change with further research. Some research has proved to show the virus has remained viable and infectious, at least temporarily in natural freshwater environments, including lakes, rivers, and streams. To find out more, we're gonna be tuning into a webinar made possible by the Water Research Foundation. What do we know about COVID-19? Well, over the last three months, we have gotten to, to get more information about it. So, as you may already know, the RNA of the virus has been found in anal and oral swabs and blood and feces, and more recently on the surfaces in a patient's room, so a toilet bowl, even at the boots of a healthcare worker. One of the very important things to say here is that we haven't isolated it from surface water, groundwater, or wastewater yet. What are the implications for the wastewater sector then? Well, we have to admit that there is a possibility of a fecal oral route of transmission that we have to be aware of. Like many harmful viruses and pathogens, the main exposure risk to the water recreational community is from sewage pollution. The release of raw or untreated sewage into our surface waterways through our fecal oral transmission routes. That means that when untreated sewage waste makes its way into our rivers or streams and ends up in our ocean and you're swimming in the ocean and take a big gulp accidentally of water, boom, you could be infected. But all of the studies are still preliminary. Although the virus has already been found in stool samples of infected patients, we do not know if the virus remains infectious after passing the human digestive system. So to respond to the question, it's still a big question mark. Here in Bali, governments have taken measures as extreme as shutting down many of the local beaches to encourage social distancing and prevent person-to-person -person contact. Visit websites like WHO or CDC to get the latest on best practices of prevention. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay at home, and we'll see you next week for more on the virtual river.